My name is Maddie Fonline. Uh, I'm a sophomore here at CSU and I'm currently studying uh, French as a major, Global Natural Resources Rec and Tourism as a major, uh, and I'm also studying a Conservation Biology minor. Back in my sophomore year of high school, I applied to do a Girl Scout destination, um, and so I picked out two, one to go to Alaska or one to go to the Boundary Waters, and it ended up being like the option that changed my life. When we got there and the water is turquoise. <laughs> And we definitely weren't expecting it to be so clear and blue. You could see 30, 40 feet down. I absolutely fell in love with the area. I absolutely fell in love with every moment of canoeing, even portaging, which most people say is really horrendous, uh, but I love it. <laughs> when I was still a GIT, I spent uh, a night out in a really big storm. It ended up destroying a lot of stuff, a lot of campsites and a lot of trees. It was just so, magical to be out in the middle of all this crazy storm and like the lightning was strobe lights and the thunder was just like a constant timpani drum and even though it was a really crazy event I still look back on it with a lot of fond memories. Nature is dangerous so you got to respect it but it's also so beautiful at the same time. <laughs> The Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness and the Quetico Provincial Park, along with Voyagers National Park, are currently being threatened by sulfide ore copper mining, um, and that's a really destructive form of mining that hasn't been done in this region previously. So the process of that is when they pull that ore out of the ground, they have to purify it. But as a result, when you um, introduce that sulfide ore to air and water, it creates this really nasty substance that when it leaches into the water, it can cause acid mine drainage. Once this in gets introduced to the Boundary Waters, it stays there forever and it never leaves. Besides just being a really big tourist location, it's so important for the local animals and just habitats up there that are gonna be destroyed by this mine or the tailings from the mine that will in effect go into the water system. I was pondering like could I actually make like a Boundary Waters Club work in Colorado that like it's pretty far away not too many people know about it and I thought like yeah I think I could start a club here um, Rams for the Boundary Waters to try to promote this um, and promote more wilderness advocacy. Um, I really hope to make an impact by getting more people to be aware that they can advocate for the wilderness themselves. If you see something that you think needs protection you can have that voice to create change.